Hey Kaiju Collectors, it's Thomas here and today we have yet another quick review and this time it is a, I believe it's a 3D printed uh, Final War style Gigant and this guy is, I believe he's like 12 inches tall, I'm not exactly sure. I, I ordered this a little while back, it took some time to arrive and I've had this actually set aside for at least a couple of weeks now. I just haven't had the time to to open it. I, I wanted to share the moment with you because it came in a, in a pretty wild, I guess it, it's, a, it's a custom box. But I think this came from China and I just wanted to experience if there's any problem with it. No, it looks good. It's properly wrapped, individually wrapped. Yeah, so each piece is individually wrapped securely. Oh, well, yes. So it, look, it looks great, guys. Just off the top. Oh, yeah, everything looks like it's very secure. I don't see any broken pieces. Peep, peeping, it, peeping inside the packaging. Looks great. Oh, yeah. So I am going to put this baby together. Hey, how nice. They include some batteries. And batteries can only mean one thing. There's going to be some kind of lighting going on with this figure. So they, they did a great job with the wrapping. Thank you so much for that. Next up, I'm going to put this together. All right, let's see how fast I can build this. Well, you guys just saw me put one of the legs on. This is leg number two. It, it snaps on really easily. That is fantastic. I did notice that a little spike that goes right up on his kneecap has, looks like it cracked off. It's actually very simple. This, this piece does not move at all. It's just more like for appearances so it's not really a big deal I'm sure this can be secured probably got some some shock damage so it probably just popped off it's really considering it came from China I don't know how many weeks it took to arrive here but not bad I will contact the seller to see anything can be done but more than likely nothing um, I was able to get the legs on super easy now let's see how the let's see how this this tail goes maybe I did it wrong let's see is it pretty easy I don't want to get myself cut either oh there you go wow guys it it doesn't get much easier than this my other Godzilla took a little bit more effort the ready the ready player one Godzilla was took more effort to do so it comes with hands, articulated hands, which are surprisingly good. They don't pop off. I know that my other one, the digits would pop off once in a while because they were a little loose. Maybe one can put a little bit of glue inside or something to tighten it up, but it looks good so far. Now this thing's supposed to take some batteries. I don't know where the batteries go at the moment. Let me see what's going on with this. Do I just, oh, that's cool. They just, so his claw here, his talon or bladed arm, all you do is just put it there and you just, there's a little tightening screw. That is ingenious and it secures on. That is wild, I love it. So once again, so this is, so this, I'm sure the person that I got it from used a 3D file that was probably given or bought from the 
Toy Maker 3D. I think that's a company from Thailand. I, I'm, I have to think for a second. But first look, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is this Final War style articulated Gigan, and it is off the chain. Oops. I, I'm, I am totally digging it. Looks great. All, all the pieces are, they fit pretty well. A little, a little loose in the arms. I mean, I, I would still be a little bit careful, but I think you got a pretty decent range of articulation, especially for some posing. I still need to put on this little piece that popped off, which is right here. This one came off, but I would get that. Yeah, see, it's secured by glue on the bottom anyway. So I'm gonna glue this back on, so that should be fine. There's no, there's no articulation with this point. So as far as function, functionality, it doesn't do anything. I don't, I don't know if you guys saw this, but you can also swap out his, his blades for these unbelievable whips. These, these metal whips. Or well, at least they're supposed to be, they're supposed to simulate metal. Wow. This looks awesome, guys. Mm. Yeah, so, so you can also put, put it that he has regular robotic arms bionic arms perhaps so all right let me uh let me swap out some more pieces and i gotta figure out what to do with these batteries i don't know how the batteries work i still gotta still gotta learn that but this is the first look and we'll get a closer look in just a moment all right i thought i'll i'll show you some of the pieces before we uh get into the figure itself here's this one of his legs, I think it's the left leg, and this piece here was actually off when I when I got it, but it's basically just connected inside there, and I just put a little bit of glue, and it's absolutely fine. Didn't do any any really any harm, and here's some basic articulation. It's actually surprisingly pretty good. It's, it's got a good knee joint. His foot can can rotate up and down pretty good and here is his uh, one of his arms and it just attaches right here you just slide it in and it's got good articulation on the elbow and this is the part that I was talking about that you just simply just put in and you just turn and tighten works really well and you can you can see some some of the 3d lines on here but it doesn't really bother me because it makes it looks more more of a mechanical beast. So it actually looks fine. Perhaps someone can paint it, but I'm definitely not going to paint it. I think it looks perfectly fine as is. I like to I, I like this this kind of chrome silvery finish. I think it comes off really well. I like all these accents on the ends. Here is the hands I was talking about. It's pretty sweet. Once again, you can just put this on and turn it into Titan. Here are the, all the, 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 they just move pretty, pretty good. And this is all 3D printed. And I, I'm pretty sure this was very time consuming. Look at that. Pretty cool. Once again, there goes that wrist thing. And this is a, another piece you can at attach. And I'm not so sure how much you can bend this. I actually will not. I'm just going to leave it as is. But these whips, these, yeah, these whips are wicked. And I will get these put on too so we can see how it looks attached. But otherwise, that is, that is the main part here. I wanted to show you those parts that you just attach. And here is... Close up of where you put the leg piece on. So you just pop it right in there. In fact, you know what? Let's do that right now. Show you how easy it is. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. How do I do this? I got it on really easy last time. Huh. Well, I definitely don't want to. There you go. Oh, there you go. Gosh. I had it in the wrong angle so that's all you got to do is it just easily snaps on and Gigant is ready to rock and roll 
The only thing that I do not know yet is where to put these batteries so that so that his his eyes and his the little light on his forehead lights up. I have messaged the seller but have not got a response. Hopefully I can get it shortly. For our first comparison, we have a giant marmot 1962 Godzilla. And Gigan is making use of those whips. And that 62 is pretty sweet. For comparison number two, we have the X Plus 2019 Godzilla. This is the Rick version with the light up. For our next comparison, we have the Toy Maker 3D Mecha Kong. And this one comes with the pretty cool axe. Now, are these guys friends or foes? For our next comparison, this is the one that uh, I'm sure you guys have been waiting for. This is the Toy Maker 3D, 3D printed Atomic Dragon. And this one, I'd like to say, is more like the ready player one version or perhaps even the legendary mecha godzilla or the one that i was hoping it would look more like and instead we got the one that we did which was all right but i would have loved to have seen this one in its place this atomic dragon is quite the beast it's it's very big heavy and very sturdy looking it has a really fantastic design uh, just like the stealth blade here. These two are incredible pieces and they would be really cool if, if they were featured in a in a new film All right, so for our final comparisons we have a X plus Shin Defo real figure and also a Playmates Mecha Godzilla and that's from the 2021 film Godzilla versus Kong 
I could not fit the X Plus uh, 2019 Godzilla. There's just no room on this table. So this will have to do. Okay guys, I'm back. I hope you guys liked my quick review of this Stealth Blade, otherwise known as Mecha Gigan, as well as the close-ups and the comparisons. And out of the three ones that I have of the Toy Maker 3D, uh, this is my probably argu arguably my favorite out of the three. It just looks so cool, nice colors. And I, I love the articulation on this one here. And of course, because it has the three sets of arms, it's kind of it's kind of weird to see him with regular hands. But I just kind of look at it as kind of like Terminator hands, or yeah, I guess. Uh, um, I love these these blades here, and it's also he has those whips. That that thing is that thing is just 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 insane. I love that. And anyways, I think that's about it. I think you guys saw the. The close-ups, that pretty much tells you what this thing does. I mean, it does have pretty good articulation. Definitely, tremendously more articulation than, than any static X-Plus figure. This one here is just uh, just a beast. And I think I think anyone that, that likes Gaigan will dig this, this figure. And I believe there's going to be custom-made ones of this with, with additional lights because I've seen some of the toy the toy 3D versions of Atomic Dragon and the Mecha Kong I've seen lights throughout its body so it's a custom it's been customized this one here is supposed to have a light up and I have yet to find out how to get the batteries in and, and how to turn it on I'm still waiting and if I do get that information I will add it to the description to uh, validate if if it indeed lights up or if that was just a picture and that's it i'm trying to find out so that is it i appreciate i appreciate you guys watching my review please consider subscribing liking and commenting i appreciate your support and you guys have a great day bye, -bye.